As you know, SAP has introduced their latest uh, generation of their platform called SAP Business Suite 7. As we've been talking to clients, we've been helping them understand what is Business Suite 7 itself. So when you look at Business Suite 7, there's a couple things to consider. First off, it represents the next step forward in SAP. So SAP has taken all of their major components, such as supply chain, CRM, SRM, HCM, and brought them up to the same common release level. What's really significant about that is that now all of the major components of SAP are on the enhancement pack concept, which means that as customers move forward and they want to implement new capabilities, it's a much easier move forward to leverage those capabilities and not the intrusive, timely, cost-effective upgrade process of the past. A second major area where Business Suite 7 is bringing advanced value to, to our customers is the whole concept of the business user, of allowing people to be more effective at how they interact with SAP by bringing a more unified user interface, introduction of more advanced analyt analytics capabilities to help them drive better business outcomes, and really just allowing them to interact in the way that's most effective for them to get value out of the platform. Now, as we've been talking to clients, the other thing is saying, well, what do I need to do to get to Business Suite 7? And really, what you have to understand is at its core, Business Suite 7 is built on ECC 6 Enhancement Pack 4. ECC 6 Enhancement Pack 4, a lot of people are already at. Once you're there, you can consider yourself to be Business Suite 7 ready. It's when you start using components such as SRM 7 or CRM 7 that you truly become a Business Suite 7 client. Now, as we've been working with clients um, around Business Suite 7, they kind of ask us, well, what does SAP mean by this value scenario, an end-to-end -end process um, concept they talk about? Really what that means is taking a look at driving process innovation and understanding that processes don't necessarily start and stop just within the core of ECC, but expand out to the other components and maybe even outside the organization as well. And what's unique about Business Suite 7, and I think very significant, is that SAP has now allowed you to deal with the localizations, the innovations that need to be done to differentiate your business, but do it in a way that protects the integrity of the core processes and data that have always been inherent in the SAP solution. We think that's a significant opportunity for clients to drive additional value out of Business Suite 7. As we've been working with clients to help drive more innovation through SAP, what we've been doing is putting out new capabilities, co-innovating with SAP with our products like Alloy, and really using our capabilities of our business process experts to drive innovation to help ask questions about not just what the process looks like, but who are you interacting with? How are you integrating data and analytics into that process? How do people want to collaborate with each other, with the organization? and using that to change how processes are deployed and drive that innovation that the platform enables now. So when you look at Business Suite 7, a lot of times there's the question of, well, why should I move to it? What is the value prop of Business Suite 7? And really, you've got to step back and look at it more from a holistic enterprise perspective. Certainly, you want to make sure that you're, you're leveraging the SAP platform and the software and the processes to the fullest extent capable understanding new features and functions, looking at your application portfolio, maybe some of your legacy applications, to understand can those now be supported by SAP. At the same time, you also want to look at a number of the other elements of your organization that support that platform, and make sure that those all are aligned and optimized so that you're delivering that platform and supporting it in the most cost-effective manner. That means looking at things like data, master data, analytics, looking at your architecture and infrastructure, making sure that you're taking advantage of things like virtualization, um, dynamic infrastructure to really deploy those solutions in the most cost-effective manner. And then finally, looking at your operations behind it. Do you have the skill sets? Um, as SAP has grown and expanded, more and new additional skills are required. How are you going to acquire those skills? How are you going to support the system going forward? In the end, it's just about looking at, first, how do I fully exploit this new Business Suite 7 platform? And then asking yourself, how do I align all of the other key elements of my organization and optimize how I support them to deliver this platform in the most cost-effective manner? IBM is SAP's only partner that is both a Business Suite 7 launch partner and a run SAP partner. 
What that means is we're uniquely qualified to work with our clients across the full life cycle of your SAP projects, all the way from strategy, transformation, implementation to operations and ongoing support. For more information about our capabilities, please visit ibm-sap.com. Thank you.